Hi guys, Victoria Fisit here with VK Consulting. And today let's talk about sales tax. It's January and uh, it's time to file your fourth quarter of a sales tax. Or if you're on a yearly reporting yearly basis, it's time to, to file your taxes for a year. And today I want to show you how to fill out the form. And you guys are looking at uh, California tax and fee administration website. And I already logged into my account. First thing you would see here is to how to report your sales. You will need to report full amount of your sales, not just taxable sales, total amount of the sales that you had for the year, labor, whatever you sold, everything, everything, everything. And in my case, it's $43,000. $300. Second uh, subject is purchases subjects to use tax. That means that whatever you bought for sale but did not sell and kept it for your use is on sale of fixtures and equipment. In my case, we did not have any purchases subject to use tax or any sales of equipment and fixtures. So we will press next. Sales at state designated fairgrounds. We did not participate, in, so nothing is here. And after you enter your sales, it brings you to the next screen. And on this screen, we're gonna talk about non-taxable sales. This is exactly the screen where you are gonna deduct extra income, the ones that you were actually not paying sales tax on. So if you sailed something to other retails for a sale and you got a resale certificate from them and you did not charge their sales tax, you will enter it here. If you have non-taxable sales of food products, if you have a labor, meaning repair of installation. In this example, the person is providing services and selling goods. She uh, reports all her sale for goods and for services. But on this screen, we will deduct labor because it's services, we will deduct it and just leave it with the sale of a product number. So our labor is 35,000 and change. So let's see how it will change of a tax number. So you see now total non-taxable sales is $35,000. If you paid any sales tax, uh, if you actually charged any sales tax and this sales tax included in total sales, you need to enter it here. And in this case, yes, total sales do include sales tax that being charged on a product. So, we need to enter it here as well. So in this example, sales tax included in total sale was $153.76. And now you see the total non-taxable sales number increased. And it brings us to Schedule B activity question. Did you need to report sales on Schedule B? And you will read why would you need to report the sales on Schedule B? In our case, it's no. Then we come to Schedule A, District Tax Allocation. We have taxable amount to be reported is $7,405. We are in Los Angeles County. So we will click on taxable amount and enter it here. And this way, District Tax due will generate. Now we have the total tax due before credits. That's how total tax due and what is payable looks like. And then you will press next and your tax return will be filed. And that's how you file for sales tax. And if you have, again, you're on a yearly reporting, you would pull all your year of uh, income and then do a subtractions. And if you're on a quarterly basis, you would file quarter four, or at that matter, any quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. However, quarter four 
and a yearly reporting of both due January 31st. I hope this video was useful, helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will try to respond to them. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.